so I just came back from home office and it was quick I was collecting um, some traveling documents for my daughter so now I am home and I am tired but I still have to work on I think I'm gonna rest for, for an hour and then maybe check some emails and um, and maybe I'll do some work on my play before I had to watch my daughter do her karate demonstration so this is a life of a mom who's a writer yeah so yeah that's 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 it that's it for now I guess um, see you on the flip side <laughs> So, Ro, no, you you saw your daughter, mm. and da da da. da. <laughs> So I changed my hair three times today. Um, now I'm doing something else. Ugh. What am I doing? All right, so let's see if it looks okay. It's out of my face. So yeah, that's positive. Hi, hello, hi everybody. My name is Pili Simitkanstra and I am a writer. Welcome to my channel. Listen, first of all, and first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, um, just following me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It is awesome. I feel seen. Yes. Thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate it. I really, really, from the bottom of my heart, I am so happy that I have 51 people. Um following me and uh in li liking what i share and what i do um on this channel so i am nothing but you guys are making me to uh something <laughs> yeah yeah i hope so so today your girl is back so i'm turning back because i want to pick up this thing that i want okay let me just pull this camera close so that at least what I'm trying oh come on there we go there we go okay so you see this huh all right let me just try to pick it up but also this matters by the way it matters okay so <laughs> hmm, it smells good. <sighs> smells like Chanel. <laughs> okay, so this is including. Where is that page? Yeah, there you go. This is all the books that influenced my thesis. Or rather, inspired. Yes, inspired my thesis. So. All together, it's 22 books. So, the last two years. Well, I didn't read 22 books. I think I read about almost, almost about 150 books in the last two years. Yeah, I did. But in, uh, only, because that includes all the PDFs I got so this is why I have a page that includes all the PD PDFs I got includes all the short stories that I read all the collections of just short stories that I read so I read all together about 150 works of 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 people of color uh, by women by grannies by grandpas by non-binary human beings um, by Sometimes you just don't know what wrote that thing that I was reading. So I read really a lot of work and works where you don't you, you question your own writing. That listen, if this was published, then who am I in this writing game? 
I'm not changing anything. Everything has been done already. Okay. <coughs> All right, so that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to be talking about all these books and let's start with the PDFs. So first one is The Why to Book Han, Han Kang. Another one is uh, Pedro Paramo by Rulfo Joan. Um, hmm, I remember that one. <laughs> that one scared the mm out of me. <laughs> even sleep at night okay oh i'm on the pala guys <laughs> and another uh, another one is a collection of short stories by leslie neka arima what it means when a man falls from the sky oh that collection made me believe in existing um and just write your story because no no one can do it better than you and if you don't then don't sit and complain you know that oh my story stories and no one is writing about us write your own story so when i read leslie uh, neka arima's collection that's how i felt i felt wow um it felt there was this it was it felt connected it was short stories but it felt almost connected like we moving from house to house and i like that um yeah okay so the fourth one, two, three. The fourth book that I read was um, Natural Histories, a collection of short stories written by um, Guadalupe Natal. I hope I am pronouncing it right. And she, she writes about animals mirroring human nature and human experiences. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's written in first, um, person narrative and it advances the, the weirdness somehow, yet it's personal. And Natalia is very particular and she has mastered, mastered that, um, first um person narrative and i i i think it was magical because i remember i struggled with writing um um from um first person um narrative and i i i when i read it and i thought wow it's it's i had i had different understanding of when you write on first person i did but as soon as i read um natal's work the Natural histories and I, I really liked it a lot. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. The next book. Oh my god, it's 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 by Mika Dean Hicks. Whew, guys, you know when you find um um a, a, an author, a writer, let me just put it like that. Um and you fall in love with them and you hope that they are on social media. And you want to follow their lives and you want to just pick their brains and they're not and you your, your whole life seems like it's shattered because the only thing you have from that author is just their book and that's enough in a way but it's not enough um, if you're a person who loves to follow people's writers and their journeys um, and you all not what you have is the interviews and um, the little snippets of their videos interviews and um the book what they wrote it's called <laughs> it's called i am laughing because it just brings so many memories you know the when i first read electricity and other dreams um it's by mika din hicks and he's a magical fantasy writer and he's exceptional um i fell in love with magical realism because of him I, I remember I read a story and something about the ghost um, and I was blown away I was blown away I was blown um, Mika Dean Higgs and whew, yeah dude I was I was just I was just impressed by his writing impressed by how he finds the magic um, in 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 human beings a reality and he blends that he, made, he blends that beautifully and now remember it's there's a story about uh, the alligators um 
three, three I think three alligators um, come out of the, the the river and they turn to human beings and they think roam around the, the city and they meet other guys and they drink beer with them and and one guy one of the guys that was drinking beer turns out to be missing I think and then he Ten, he, he changes to become an alligator to go to the river so the river gives and sort of sort of like in a way takes someone else from from earth to become an alligator i don't know that's just my interpretation but i loved it so the other book i read was um called redemption in indigo i don't have it here because i i remember my lecture borrowed me his book i wanted to steal it that's how great the book was wow wow um it was it's written by karen lord this was even today when i think about it i'm like you know i'm having uh, shivers on my spine because that's how brilliant the book was um um the images the dialogue the scenes um the the whole book on its own it was just brilliant and i remember i thought this th that that book is my classic for it it was timeless and it was just beautiful and sad and magical and scary to read it um it had um magical creatures it had zombies it had um tricksters it had um dilemma it had conflict in in, in marriage it was about a palma um the 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 the, 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 um, the wife of asige i think who always would do anything to protect her husband and uh, some magical things creatures are following her are trying to oh it's like just a family saga you know <laughs> and i uh, it, it's epic um it's big it's big imagination and it made me think of uh, of 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 Amos Tatuala we'll talk about him later but Karen Lord um, bared his soul into this writing and the work is epic and bravely fascinating and uh, I really I think that's one of the books that I, even though I don't own it I think I'm, I want to have it on my shelf I want to own that book the few books that I read as PDFs that I don't own it that I another book I read it's mother box and other tales by sarah sarah who hmm let me double check sarah blackman yeah <laughs> it's called mother box and other tales so i remember the reason why i chose it besides that the, the cover art the cover art the cover book art is absolutely gorgeous um, it has a tint of fairy tale and magical realism as well um, but the reason mainly was that I was I needed to see how um, someone would connect or interlock short short stories and a novella and how does how will how is that placed in a um, written form so I needed to see that because of course you know my collection so but i really did love it and enjoyed reading it um yeah and another one that i read it's called i think oh i forgot another one cassandra and the wolf yes cassandra and the wolf Margarita carapano she is a greek writer oh wow i forgot that one and black venice by angela carter it was a great book. Yeah, here. Yeah. This one. This beautiful, beautiful cover. Oh, can I just do that? Can I just be hot like that? <laughs> um, this one. It's called uh Um Speak Jukantula by Aaron Aaron Okiji. Um this collection is weird. Um it's um it strangles, it strangles between what is real and what is not and what the reader expects and what the character gives it's a little bit of sci-fi a little bit of weird fiction um and i loved it i totally was blown away and 
the first thing that really threw, uh, not, uh, threw me in and kept me in the book, um, enchanted me, let me just put it that way. <laughs> it was the first story gunk. Uh, um, first line says, get up, try to hold your world. You can't, you let it slip. I know your world. Car horns, aspiration, language, screaming, traffic lights, spies. I see you. Your thick hair is overgrown. Run an Afro comb through it. Your wiry frame is still poised to move and sleep. To change shape at the urges of iod and strange misfortunes. I showed you how to plant and how to sow seeds in concrete. Yet your seeds don't grow. I'm owning this book. It's mine. Yes, so... That's an one. and we have the vegetarian. Uh, <laughs> the vegetarian is about an, a woman who does not eat meat. Simple, right? But read this story. It's not simple. I remember I chose this one. I wanted to to read it because it it played with simplicity, but yet yet it carried a lot of layers, and I wanted to know how to how do you layer up something that is simple as just a person who is vegetarian you know or you know I, I remember i wanted to write about just my mundane life but but it, it it should not just be blown away as just something simple it has to you know layer you up with a lot of layers and this book has that it's a story about a vegetarian woman who does not eat meat and everyone around her does not understand why she doesn't eat meat and it becomes really like a very problematic thing for for her and her husband and her family she's kicked out she ends up in a hospital um she gets sick very thin and thin and thin because she's not eating meat uh, <laughs> and it's very terrifying in a way um but it's also it, it keeps you something holds you to the story and the writing is exceptional. I liked it. I liked how this book seems to be just about this vegetarian woman, but you find out it's more than that. And I think that's why I, I liked it. Um, what more can I say? What more can I say? What more can I say? I, I remember I wanted to... to this was introduced to me the very, very first beginning. I think the first week in my program. Uh, I wanted to read more um, people of color, and this was the first book that was introduced to me by Helen Oyeye. Um, not no. Uh, my lecture introduced me to to works of Helen Oyeye, and I liked it. And then it becomes um, such a beautiful keep because I then I, I after that I read her short story. Um, what is something? What is what is not something? Something something. I forgot the title. But yeah, I read it and I really liked it. I like her writing and she's, I think her story inspired me. How she became a writer, how she became a P and then because of that, I kept the book. And then the God, the God of, of, of magic, the God of fairy tales, the God of, of folklore. Why not? Why not? Why not? If you are not, don't know anything about imagination and you don't know how to escape your world, I remember I never stopped when I got this book I never stopped in my writing and it, it, you definitely see his influence um, his imagination how big it is and how childlike it is and I love that I love that and I wanted also to focus on my own traditional stories um, and how do I not modernize that but how do I make it newer to me when i would write a story and influence it to my own folklore and my own um traditional stories that I, we were told when i was a young girl and this this book helped me a lot and then of course ah uh, when i when i read this i never wanted to stop reading this book i never wanted it to finish because it was that Good. This is one of my classics as well, I think. And I like the structure of the story. 
and how from generation to generation um, the curse that has started in Kintu is continuing through, through generations and I liked the, how the, the author structured this book and I tried something not I wouldn't say tried but I I saw the freedom of doing something like this because then my mind was able to try other things because I've seen it in this book so yeah this influenced me a lot and also the style and I liked it I like our stories I like great kings and queens and kind of stories um, and, and and all the choices they made that you know have become our consequence somehow this also really inspired my writing in many ways um, similar to to um, to Kintu as well the structure I liked the idea of t of two sisters living different uh, lives but they're related but other one is more of a slave and the other one is not I like I love stories about slavery but I don't know anything about slavery so I want more books that really um, you know have characters like that and focus on stories like that and I, I liked it because this one forced me to google um, a lot about was it, was it Ghana? Uh, Ghana? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I had to learn about Ghana and then I realized that research and history um, can make a book very 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 good and from then on I trusted that I need to do my work before I can sit down and just jot on and I think also the element of historical fiction really 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 um, kind of ignited an interest in me yeah. I remember they said I could write a South African Game of Thrones Yes, so you know I love um, to, uh, my work as well. Also, you know, talk. Uh, I focus a lot in, on, on on the female body, and when I read um, Carmen, I read a lot of Roxy gay short stories online, and I, I read Carmen. Those are two uh, queer women that I read, and they changed my whole life, my whole view of my body as a woman, um, and as a woman of color as well, and. I, I trusted my body and every time I would write something I would focus on how my body react to it especially when I wrote erotica I love erotica also I like I, reading this helped me to move away from the norm and move away from the convention and move away from the way we were taught at school so I really love this book also it's one of my classics I'm not giving it away our own our own our own um, um I think this is the only book um, by a person of color that in South Africa that is a that has a touch of fairy tale or magical realism um, and it's sad <laughs> I think it's sad but this for, on in my own understanding this is the only book in South Africa I know by a person of color who wrote magical um, realism and fantasy and I you know what I think I want to do my PhD around that I don't know like South Africa and fantasies uh, I don't know what exactly but I don't know I don't know I mean we have so much stories about magic stories about witchcraft stories about um, our great kings and queens and stories about the rain and stories about mountains and you know the rituals we do and I think those deserve to be written as well as stories and Silke Daika ah uh, is one of my favorite South African authors sadly he died um, he was very young well but he left us three wonderful books this is this is my classic I'm not giving it away oh my god look start what do I start this is like I if if I could you know get a lotion and a skin cream and if I can get a nice dress from every page in this book I will become so happy in my life like listen why tomorrow is a dream to have to meet to I wanna I wanna eat dinner with why tomorrow I'm telling you, this book is it. 
I am king because of this. No, my writing absolutely high skyrocketed i think because of when i read this book i was so exalted i was so moved i was so motivated <sighs> i was everything when i read this book and i thought yeah it's possible someone understands me someone understands this brain in my head you know because of this book i recognize myself i recognize uh how i envision myself as a writer and that it's okay to dream and envision and to visualize and to imagine such stories. There, there is a space, there is a home for such stories. <sighs> Another classic. And this one. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Just a tour. Look at these eyes. Look at these eyes and look at the beadwork there. Oh, I don't have white hair, but yeah. Let's take a moment because the second book is coming. Mm. The second book is coming. Tommy and Ayami. Girl. Ha! Girl. Let's have tea, okay? And talk. This is it the bible for every young kid child this one yes so it did wonders for my writing as well my thesis so there you have it <laughs> well that's a long video but there you have it all the books that but besides that i read a lot of short stories online by a lot of um um, Spanish writers, a lot of by uh, Garcia Marquez short stories, I think. Um, um, as another beautiful, brilliant writer, I read. Yeah, but I read a lot. I think it's amazing, and I have not stopped. And my fear was losing what I found here because I had a lot of help. People introduced me to these authors. So, and I started this because I want you guys to introduce me to. To a lot of authors and not only commercial authors authors that are like like sarah blackman i mean thank you so much um i appreciate you watching the video until to the end um thank you very 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 much have a good day bye